Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the number of periods function in Excel in order to figure out how long it's going to take to get to a million bucks. So I was reading this article, it was a CNBC article, I believe, and basically it was it put up this little grid of how much, uh, how long would it take to get to a million dollars? And it was kind of neat, and I realized, hey, it's going to require the number of periods function, which I hardly ever use, so let's give it a shot here. I'm going to do a little bit of content on my worksheet just to kind of get us started. There we go. So I just put up a couple labels. So this article focused on getting to a million dollars, assuming you already had a hundred thousand. But I put this data in cells so that we can easily change it and update our our um, our grid, our table pretty easily. Okay, now going across the top here, I want to have different rates of return. So let's see. They had in the article, I think they had like a 4%, well, if I can type 4, they had 4%, 6%, 8%, and 10%. I'm going to go one step ahead, and we'll do a 12% just so we can do a comparison. And then going down the vertical axis, they had various monthly investment amounts. And let's go, we'll start off with like 100 bucks, and let's count by 150. Remember, these are monthly. I'll select two of those and auto fill down yeah, let's go one more so we're at 800 nice okay now the real work and let me go and put some borders on here all borders and i'll make these all a little bit bigger too okay now the real work is going to go inside of each of these cells if we write this properly one time, we should be able to autofill it down and across to populate all of the other cells. And remember, this goal for this activity is to figure out how long it will take. So we want to find out the number of years, let's say, it'll take to get to a million bucks if we start with this starting amount. I'm going to focus my attention on this one cell right in here, D5. So I'm going to write an equals NPER, which is the number of periods function, parentheses, and just go through and complete the arguments. For instance, it wants to know what my rate is. I'm going to click on the cell that contains my rate just above it, and I'm going to divide that by 12 because I want monthly uh, rates of return because I am investing monthly, comma. And now for my payment, that's going to be a minus sign, and that's going to be my right there that's going to be a negative version of the payment now you might notice i'm not putting in my mixed references my absolute references yet i'm definitely gonna to have to do that for this to work properly um, comma now the present value so the present value is going to be our initial investment don't forget we can change this to zero later but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a minus sign and click on the cell that contains that original investment great and i think that's pretty good um actually our future value we got to reference that in there so comma the cell that contains our future value is going to be our goal our one million dollars so that's going to be right there now i think we are good closing parentheses but i'm not going to press my enter key yet because i have to put in my absolute references my mixed cell references so let's see i'm going to look at each reference and think about how different cells are going to need to use this so my rate is in d4 now the other formulas, the other functions, are also going to have to reference the rate of return. They're all going to be in row 4, but they are going to be in different columns. So if I know they're all going to be row 4, that lets me know that I should have a dollar sign in front of the 4. That makes the 4, row 4, absolute, whereas the column D is relative. That can change. They're all going to divide by 12. Now the C5 is referencing the uh, payment here. I'm sorry, the monthly investment, uh, which is the payment uh, argument. Let's see. All of these are going to reference column C, but they're going to be different, um, different rows. So if they're all going to reference column C, that means the C should have the dollar sign in front of it. By the way, I'm pressing the F4 key on my Windows machine in order to toggle through the absolute and relative mixed status. Now, negative B2 is right up there. That's going to be my initial investment. All formulas, all functions are going to refer to that one. So that's going to be completely absolute. And the B1 is also going to be completely absolute. Now, when I press my Enter key, this is basically telling me 
it's going to take 622 months, but I want this to be in years. So I'm going to edit this result. In fact, I'm going to put parentheses around the whole thing, even though I don't think I technically need to. And I'm going to divide by 12 months per year to get my answer in years. And then I'm going to reduce the number of decimals a bit, 51.8 years. So if I have a hundred grand and I'm going to, my goal is to have a million bucks and then I invest a hundred dollars a month for at 4% return, it's going to take me 51 years. Now check this out though. I can click on the fill handle for this. And I'm just going to drag down to my other options. Looks good. And then while they're all selected still, I'm going to use the fill handle again and drag over to the right so I can see how long it takes for these other categories. Let me do some real quick formatting. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So I just did some centering and obviously some fill colors and stuff. So now we can really read this table. If I'm gonna invest 250 a month, it's gonna take me about 20 years to get to a million dollars at 10%. Let's focus on that one for a quick minute. Now, what if I'm starting with zero dollars instead of 100,000? Well, then it's gonna take me 35 years to get to that, all right. Let's go back to 100,000 as a starting figure. What if I want to get to 2 million? It's going to take me 27 years. So there we go. So now our table is pretty accurate and it'll give us some insight on how long it's going to take us to hit our goal, a million dollars, if we already have some initial investment based on a variety of monthly investment amounts and based on a variety of expected annual returns. Cool, have fun, create this for yourself, take care.